Yeah, yeah, I know. Jesse Lingard's 88th minute winner, Mark Noble's 92nd minute penalty miss, but the real EPL question this week is, what's Harry Kane doing in midfield? He wanted to leave. He was done. It was over. Go to Man City, win trophies, become a legend. But Harry Kane had a problem, or rather he had two. Kane got stuck between a rock and a hard place, or more specifically between the cruelest, coldest chairman football has ever known and an agent so hilariously incompetent it almost defies belief. First, let's talk Daniel Levy. Famed for blocking deals and breaking hearts, Levy is as tough as they come, a living, breathing poker face. He wakes up every morning with one thing on his mind. What fairy tale ending and no-brainer deal that everyone wants can I slowly kill while maintaining eye contact today? In an agent, therefore, Kane needed a smooth operator with every trick in the book. Instead, he went with his brother, a snoozed operator with no tricks whatsoever. In fact, no access of any kind to the book where the tricks are kept or explained. Charlie Kane advised the hottest property in world football to sign a six-year contract with no release clause. But Charlie explained it's all good because we've got this thing called a gentleman's agreement which means you can leave whenever you want it's just not written into the contract or legally binding in any way it's like a cool invisible contract that only exists in our minds and that no one else can see touch read describe or verify it was special Harry me and Levy really shared something he was so happy really happy he loved the plan so much that he was laughing and crying for 15 minutes straight tears in his eyes frothing at the mouth fast forward to week four of the season and it's four games four Four shots and no goals for Harry Kane. The England striker is dead-eyed, lost, permanently dropped or drooped into the midfield. He's like one of those killer whales at SeaWorld that's lost the will to live. And whether or not Charlie Kane still believes in the invisible contract that him and Levy signed remains, perhaps appropriately, up in the air.